Good morning everyone! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Simrail. Uh, once more... Or, yeah, what, w once more. Uh, I am back in the game. Back in the driver's seat. And today, as I promised you months before, that I will finally be streaming ED250 Pendolino as soon as the train is equipped with functional ETCS. We are finally here. And the train is ready for departure. I have not yet configured ETCS properly. It is pre-configured by AI and I'm hoping that everything is done properly. I will however try and verify that as soon as we get to Warsaw Central where we will get about 3 minutes to mingle with that. Uh, unfortunately it is our departure time right now. We are currently at Warsaw East. Uh, so I will focus on that. Uh, in fact I need to take over from AI, there we go. Okay, that is done, this seems to be okay, uh, as for the signals we still don't have, my microphone is in mono, uh, oh no, my, my microphone has a hiccup, uh, I, I hate when that happens. I really hate when that happens, hang on, and now it should be better, uh, my apologies for that. I don't know why it happens, but it, it happens every now and then, and uh, unfortunately I, I can't help it. Uh, it, it's, uh, it, it's probably an issue with my mixer, because um, in a few hours I will have to tone it back down, I, I, I just need to check. Uh, change the balance but thanks for notifying me uh, right we now have departure signal uh, so we need to close the doors uh, and if i remember correctly that's this button perfect okay now we can get the train moving and in the meantime we can set up a cruise control. There we go. 36 kilometers per hour. Perfect. Just perfect. Right. Uh, second channel on the radio. We are on second channel of the radio. Perfect. Right. Today's service will take us to uh, Krakow Central. Unfortunately, the route doesn't go as far. I believe it finishes around Tunnel. Uh, unfortunately, I was unable to catch a train heading to Katowice. Uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, but those services are quite popular. Especially since... ETCS has been released. Okay, we can now speed up to 80 kilometers per hour. We can also have a look in our timetable. Well, of course, SHP will 
harass me. So we should be at Warsaw Central at 9.18. That should be easy. go let's set the camera closer to the screens so we can actually see what's going on on them at, at least for most parts uh, because UI will obstruct our view a little bit Ah, yes, uh, I, I, I completely forgot about that. See, chat? I keep forgetting about things. I, I'm getting old, I guess. Okay, we need to slow down. go we're good now Approaching Warsaw Central. have stopped at the station so while this happens let's quickly go to main menu and let's double check things okay so driver id is definitely updated train data yeah that has been updated Start is still not available. There we go. Uh, five. Level. We are at level 5 SHP. Okay. And radio data. We can't do anything about it. We are ready for departure. So that should do. Oops. Uh, the camera is jumping. Okay. We are ready to depart. Doors are closed. 
Brakes are releasing. We have to wait for the brakes to release. We can set up cruise control. The speed limit is 60. Wait a few seconds. And as always, starting this train is always problematic. There we go. You need to wait a few seconds and if you get the timing wrong... The train just won't move. go the next speed limit is 90 kilometers per hour so I will set cruise control to 86 just to make sure that we won't be speeding during uh, due to discrepancies Now we need to slow down. We are still a bit too quick. And that should do. We are now approaching Warsaw West. Right on time. Okay, let's take that time to grab a nice screenshot. Well, 
Wonderful. Okay. We got clearance for departure, but we are not supposed to depart until 9.27. And that's precisely what I'm going to do. Ah, there we go. Now there's a whistle. And off we go. Okay. Now speeding up to 90, which is current speed limit. And this will quickly go to a 100. And now the speed limit will go up to 120. We are now on time. And hopefully things will remain like that. Speed limit goes up to 160 and radio channel is 2. And we are now entering second level of ETCS. Okay, ETCS level 2 confirmed. Hopefully we will get appropriate data. Uh, 
Okay, looks like we're good. Let's adjust route planner so we can see four kilometers ahead. Which, in my opinion, is optimal. You can adjust it up to 16 kilometers up ahead. And I strongly recommend doing so because the default kilometer is not enough for 200 kilometers per hour speed limit. I can guarantee you that. We are bang on on time, but the signals are not set for us, and we will have to slow down. Oh, never mind. Oh, we are going through neutral section. We are now out of neutral section. Perfect. We need to watch out on that. And just in case if anyone is wondering, I am playing on EN1 server right now. Oh, the crossing wasn't close. That's that's not correct. That's not supposed to happen.
Okay, we are in another neutral section. We need to turn on appropriate mode in the locomotive. Well, looks like we might be seeing some issues at Grodzisk Mazowiecki. I have a feeling this is going to happen. Now, driving with ATCS is much more comfortable than driving completely without it. I, I have to say that, yes, this train was clearly designed to work with this system pretty well. Obviously, second level is still not perfect. And basically the difference between level 1 and level 2 is that level 2 gets more frequent updates about route up ahead uh, because on level 1 you rely only on trackside equipment uh, so every now and then you will see that squarey looking thingies or plates in between the tracks and those are sensors for ETCS system and uh, they are called ballists and basically they update the train with current signal status whereas in level 2 which we are operating in right now we get the updates using phone signal so those updates are much more frequent but it relies on radio infrastructure which has to be built and it's expensive to, to build Mabot24 thank you very much for follow oh there we go uh, we need to change the radio channel there we go and now we can speed up to 200 kilometers per hour Uh, Mabot24, yes, I am using ETCS. And it is controlled by this panel in the middle. So basically, it consists of trackside signaling that we are passing through every now and then. And this computer that helps me determine what is coming up, up uh, ahead uh, on this route planner section. And it also displays current speed limit on, on this display. It also allows me to configure ETCS elements uh, like train data and, and stuff like that.
So we are currently cruising at 194 kilometers per hour on 200 kilometers per hour speed limit. And yes, we are on level 1 ETCS at the moment. Unfortunately, there is no infrastructure for level 2 ETCS in this area. There we go. Uh, it appears that we will have to slow down. That is unfortunate. Okay, we will be going over some switches. Uh, looks like we are being sent onto the siding for some reason. Okay, no point to speed up. As we are approaching another 60 km per hour limit. Right, so ETCS only informs you what is up ahead. Uh, controlling the speed is still on the driver, so you need to accelerate and decelerate on your own. Uh, basically, ETCS provides in-cap signaling, and it's not like uh, German LZB, uh, which basically drives for the driver, and, and driver is only to supervise the system. Uh, ETCS works differently, and it supervises the driver, uh, similar to PZB. Uh, if, if you are looking for similarities, that's, that's the best description I can give you. Uh, I agree that it would be nice to see 
ETCS level 3 to actually be more in control of the train and driver to be more supervising the train doing the right job and uh, because that would be improvements uh, on safety uh, but because not every place is equipped with appropriate infrastructure uh, that's how it works I don't know why AI sent me onto that side track if if I wasn't making any stops, but never mind. We'll handle it. Okay, looks like uh, there won't be any more issues, at least for now. So we are currently heading to Białorawska and we should be there in about 3 minutes. Track is clear at least 4 kilometers up ahead. Uh, let's see, uh, the nearest issue is about 8.5 kilometers away. But we'll get to that at some point. Right. Depending on 
which marker you are talking about. Those tiny markers, uh, those are important driving symbols. They may indicate things like uh, points where you have to sound a horn. Uh, those might be points where you need to take specific actions or don't take specific action. In that case, this particular symbol means that engaging emergency braking in that area would stop the train in inappropriate place like in the middle of a bridge or in the tunnel and you should avoid engaging emergency brake in that place Uh, when it comes to yellow lines on on that river or or on this bar uh, Those are places where you should engage braking in order to stop in front of obstacle uh, speed restriction or Stop signal So right now we are approaching a yellow line which indicates that there will be either speed restriction or stop signal. And when we get to that point and nothing changes, we will have to slow the train down. Uh, yes, it, it works similar to LZB in that sense. It, it shows you information about upcoming signals and restrictions. But yes, it is the driver who is supposed to act. And this system is shared across entire Europe. It's not only in Poland, it's it should also be on in Germany, uh, Netherlands, Belgium, France. Yeah, and thanks to that, you don't need to change drivers or change trains on the border crossing because trains coming from one country to another can operate in in the neighboring country just by programming ETCS they can follow the speed limits and and operate on foreign railways and, and that's the reason why this system is in place Yeah, I think it does. I, I haven't tried it yet. Uh, but hopefully I will get to that point.
There we go, chat. We are zooming. Judge 911, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll have a great time today. Do I recommend the game? Yes, strongly. If you have a chance to pick it up, uh, it's it's definitely worth its price. Uh, however, you need to put a little bit of time into reading documentation and learning things outside of what the game will show you. Because tutorials are not the best in the game. I, I have to admit that they don't really explain things in a way that helps to understand what's going on. Uh, but the community is great. And you can always find some help with uh, the issues that you encounter. And then the game is absolutely fantastic. Well, the demo was... Yes, the demo is strange, but... Single player scenarios are not the best part of the game. Uh, and until... More of user-made content will show up... That probably won't change. Is it better than... Trenchim World? In some ways, yes, definitely. Uh, in other ways... It is lacking. Uh, it depends what users want. Uh, obviously, SimRail currently offers only Polish railways. Uh, I believe there is a German route in, in the making and there is, I think, Canadian or uh, US route in works. But when that is going to come out, I don't know. Uh, what else? Well, the game is in early access, so things are changing. And updates are making a difference. A recent update introduced ETCS, which was previously not present in the game. Uh, so definitely the game is going forward. Right, so ETCS is a European train control system and it's a safety system similar to German LZB or PZB. Uh, it is meant to uni uh, unify the systems across Europe so trains from Poland can travel to Germany or France without changing drivers or changing units at the borders. Uh, everything works together across entire Europe and, and that's basically 
the intent of, of that system to, to make sure that safety systems are working together across borders. Uh, so this system will provide in-cab signaling for the train driver helping me make my decisions soon enough uh, so I can drive a train even on foreign tracks without fully knowing the route. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I am hoping that it will eventually become one huge network. Uh, but whether that is technically possible, uh, that's a different story. Uh, at the moment, yes, entire all, well, all the routes that are currently present in the game are part of one network. Yes, and, and players from both routes can drive together and and basically have fun together on on this tiny railway. But. Whether new additions or new DLCs gonna work in the same matter, that is a completely different story. I can't answer that question. Probably. So the question is whether the servers can handle it. It might be so that it will be divided into smaller chunks because obviously there is no reason why a player who drives on some German route, which is completely disconnected from, from this one, uh, would be sat on the same server, creating extra traffic. Uh, as a person who plays on completely different routes, so it will probably be split into smaller chunks and unless the lines are connected with each other it, it won't become one server I, I think that's how it's gonna work because it otherwise it would it would make no sense There we go, we are approaching different speed limits. Well, I actually like those long scenarios. I really hate that. Oh, we are we are going back to SHP. Well, that that's the thing. Uh, stop, 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 stop. This game has a single route that is over 300 kilometers long.
Well, shunting is currently in the game, at least in in one of the single player scenarios. Oh, there we go. We will be going down to 120. Perfect. Okay, so we left ETCS area, at least for now. I'm not sure if it's gonna come back. I, I think there is ETCS further down the road after Ijikovice. Yeah, so as for the shunting, there is already one scenario in the game that they added in recent update on 22nd. And... Yes, players can couple, decouple consists and, and there is entire scenario dedicated to shunting around one of the coal mines. But I haven't tried it yet. It is. It is. Uh and the problem with that is you need quite powerful PC to, to run it. They do try to optimize it, uh, but it's still quite resource heavy. Right, so the trackside equipment is present here for ETCS, but uh, ETCS doesn't work, at least for now. I'm not sure if it's gonna come back or not, can't remember. I, I, I think ETCS sections gets back after Opochno. I think so. How many hours I got in the game? I can't remember. I, I wasn't really playing that much. Uh, maybe 200, 300 hours. Something like that. I would need to double check it, but uh, obviously I, I can't do it during driving. Is save option in the game? Uh, no, it is planned, uh, but that is a long term future. Uh, I believe developers also plan to release editor in previous patch, uh, but because they couldn't get it to work with uh, Steam Workshop, uh, they had to postpone the release of editor. Can you repeat? Uh, you said this. 
Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you very much. Three hundred hours in game, hundred services made. I, uh, I'm not sure if I made hundred services. Uh, but yes, I, I've been driving quite a few times. I also spent some time dispatching, so. Yeah, it looks like ETCS doesn't work in this area. Right chat, so uh, the train is currently not driving within ETCS zone and we are using a uh, Polish national SHP system which is basically not as accurate, it, it's more, well it's closer to PZB rather than anything else, basically you get uh, yes, it, it is more similar to AWS, uh, in fact. Uh, so basically you got trackside magnets, uh, which are placed close to points of interest, like signals, in most cases. And they will engage a vigilance system. And basically it needs to confirm that yes I am aware that something is coming uh, but it doesn't confirm whether I understand what is coming if that makes sense whereas ETCS will display information of what is coming on the screen and asks me to confirm so it might be let's say a signal to switch to the left track in that case that would be displayed on in cap display uh, whereas shp doesn't display anything and it doesn't tell me what's going to happen it just tells me there is for example a signal up ahead and that's it and i need to be able to understand that signal Uh, it's probably field of view because I 
Well, that that's the field of view that I should have, but because I want to see what's on the screens, I, I got it a little bit zoomed in. So this should provide slightly better feeling, uh, but obviously it makes the screens a little bit less readable from that distance. We can actually drive like that, but it will be harder to read what's uh, what's on the displays. And obviously it's harder to spot trackside signaling and signage. Especially at such a high speed. go windshield is cleaned I don't know why, but I'm fairly sure that ATCS should be working in this area and it's not for some reason. Oh, that was definitely a player.
Yeah, there's a trainer up ahead. Let's wait a few seconds. There we go. Right, because there is a train up ahead, and I have a feeling that it's gonna be slower than me. I will reduce my speed to 116, and we'll see what's going to happen. Because the signal changed, which means that something is trying to get to Olszamowice or Warszawa, and it might be one of the EC trains. If I will continue at 160 km per hour, uh, we will very likely catch up with that train, and we will have to stop eventually. Yeah, there we go. The signal has not changed. Which is very concerning. Indeed, ETCS would be very useful right now. We are basically chasing yellows. It's another yellow signal. So we may proceed. And I'm fairly sure that the train in question will be stopped at Olszamowice. I will proceed at slower pace to allow train ahead to catch some distance. So let's hope he is aware. What is happening here? Uh, I just took over, but not the boat's doing a bit of a mess, so... Um, the boat... Train one four one nine. Uh, I'm calling you. I'm calling Oshima with a uh, uh, dispatcher. What should I expect uh, with a uh, uh, signal uh, signal box? Four one nine. Uh, you are right behind one three one nine, and you'll be passing uh, train one three one one seven on the opposite. So you'll be going over a switch on the other track, and then you'll be. Going back to the main one since the boat stopped the on 
3117 in truck and can do anything else because the other side truck side trucks are uh, all occupied. So, so for repeat, uh, so I should expect um, uh, going through switches on the left track to overtake uh, trains uh, stranded on the right on on the main track on the right track. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can see a yellow. I can see, I can see a sign um, showing me that I should for the speed restriction. Thank you for the information. Problem, just to let you know, you're right behind another pendolino, so I just need for uh, wait for it to pass, and then you you'll have a uh, your route to Los Cabos. Thank you very much. I can see the stop 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 signal. There we go. Signal for stop. I can see that. All right. One four one one seven for dispatch. Just in terms of uh, release or of trains, when can I expect to dispatch? In terms of trains that are passing through the section, over. Uh, I just need uh, the two pendolinos coming from uh, Pilicovice to pass on your truck, and then you'll be clear to go. So in a few minutes, let's say, I just need to look at your schedule, and then I'll be able to tell you. But Message received and understood. I'm to hold here until the two pendolinos have passed and then await exit signal upon receipt. No problem, thank you, dispatch. 14117 out. There we go. 1417, this is in uh, 1419. I either want that this is uh, waiting on the track to get passed by the pendolinos. I heard you a bit lagging, so can you please? Uh, sure, I was talking to the train. Uh, let me see the number of the train from... To 13117, I was talking to 13117, and I asked him if he, if he like, stays on... If he is the one that uh, stays that I'm going to pass on the... Three one one seven. Are you the one in uh, stopped at Oshamovice? Uh, that's right. So I start stop. All right. So I think uh, I think I'm just like two blocks from uh, Oshamovice, two or three blocks. So. It will be clear for you in a minute, I, uh, in a few minutes for you, I think, from around. There we go. Uh, there is a little bit uh, bigger story to that because AI wasn't letting anyone through uh, further up ahead and there is some other issue but yes basically he stopped everyone to let us pass because um, there's another pendolino behind me Wow, there's a lot of traffic here. Yeah, 
know one for one night uh, the boat did a bit of a mess, but you're clear to proceed to Bloskova Polnok behind the uh, Pendolino 1319. Uh, received, uh, proceed, uh, proceed to Washington Pool Station. Did the Pendolino, is, is, is there a Pendolino in front of me? Yeah, there's a 1319 in front of you, you're just one block out. You should be doing the same speed, so you shouldn't have problems. I can see the block signal turning. Yeah, I can see the block signal turning from yellow to um, to green. One four one one seven to dispatch. Confirmation. I will be released to follow on the path of one four one nine. Over. I confirm you'll be following 1419, just a second as you clear the blocks and uh, you'll be good to go. I think I just the block, so... That's received and understood, dispatch, awaiting exit signal, 14117, out. 14117, have a nice trip, and... Uh, well, there's a little bit too much of a chatter, to be honest. You don't need that much information, but yeah, s some people like to RP in that way. I don't usually contact dispatcher unless I really need to. The rest is on the signals. So I can see what signals are indicating. I don't need to ask dispatcher what's going up, up, up ahead. Unless it's really holding me back for a long time. One three one nine. What is your current speed? One four one nine. I'm currently cruising at one five six. Oh, yeah, we're good. All right, sir. Do you use the uh, cruise control system? Yes. Do you have the do you have the cruise control switch to 160? Now it's switch at 156. Can you switch it to 160 because I'm driving uh, right behind you and the block the blocks keep getting um, uh, you know occupied so. Switching to 160. Anyway, I have switched my speed to 160. I have I have I have delays. I just asked because I have like um, a few minutes of delay, and I just want to be on time. No worries. Already switched to 160. Uh, yeah, I'm just wondering behind you. This is why I'm asking because I keep getting yellows on the block signal. Uh, yeah, he is three blocks behind me. That's why he is getting yellows.
He'll be fine. I will be getting out of his way uh, very soon. I missed the sound signal. That's why I could use ETCS, but for some reason it's not initiated. To be honest, I, I'm not sure if it's possible to reset it. Uh, also, if there is no sign saying that uh, we are entering ETCS area, then I reckon while the infrastructure is in place, it's, it's not working for some reason. Dispatcher, this is 1419. Uh, what do you mean by slowing down? The, uh, I I'm driving with speed, I don't have any red lights. Oh, 
lot. Uh, I will slow down, but you know, but still, then. Uh, but thank you for. I don't know. Um, I'm supposed to stop here on the platform. Just to let you know if you would miss. Just oh, there we go. Set me up to a platform. We are getting back to ETCS area. Now it's gonna be level two that initiates. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Walter. What is dispatcher? One four one one seven to one three one one seven. State your message over. Three one one seven, uh, currently holding one four zero KMH to clear the signals ahead of you as quickly as I can. Over. No problem. One three one one seven. I will clear the blocks as quickly as I can, but can confirm that I'm holding steady at one four zero four one H. So I will get ahead as quickly as I can. Okay, chat, we are eight minutes late. But that's not too bad. Could be worse. Okay, we will be leaving ETCS area very soon as we are heading towards Krakow. Okay, we are approaching speed restriction.
There we go. So we are now diverging off the main line and we will be leaving ETCS area soon. There we go. So basically, whenever there is a radio channel change, you need to confirm it on ETCS. So you could have seen that there was a notification for me when we passed a radio channel sign. And I also had to change the channel on my radio. We are now on ETCS level 1. Okay, for some reason ETCS thinks that we are still in neutral section, but I'm fairly sure we are not. Yeah, driver's timetable is uh, quite easy to understand. The, there are a few things that you need to know about it. Uh, obviously, I, I can't really bring it fully into the screen because I, I need to focus on what's going on. Uh, but it's not that difficult to read, in fact.
and it provides you with much more information than this timetable does. So neutral sections are uh, places where two pieces of catenary are connected with each other and basically you can sometimes see that there are two catenary wires above me. So in order to not draw an arc There is something called neutral section and you should stop pulling power from the catenary so then you don't draw an arc between those two individual wires and that's what it is. For some reason the crossing is not closing quickly enough.
We are not that far away. Uh, the scenario should finish within next 10 minutes or so. No, I picked it up at the very first station and it's a two hour scenario. And this one, this one only goes to tunnel, which is not at the very end of the tracks at the moment, uh, because there's no route from tunnel to Krakow. Okay, so this area is not supervised by ETCS. We are currently in SHP area, which is system used in Poland. Or, well, Polish national system that, that is used uh, for any other train.
And there we go. That is the end of the scenario. It took us 2 hours and 2 minutes and 54 seconds. We traveled a distance of 246 kilometers. Which isn't too bad. And I believe we made only one mistake during the entire journey. And that was not sounding a warning signal. Which is pretty okay. I think that was a decent run. And we were also about six minutes late. Is it? Uh, yeah, we we ended up being about six minutes late. Yes. So that's not too bad. Obviously, in the future, this route will go all the way to Krakow Główny, uh, as this part of the route will be a free DLC. Uh, that's at some point will be released, uh, so we will be able to see the rest of it. Not today though, not today chat. We made it. We made it to the end. All right, everyone. Whew. I I know it's a bit shorter than usual, but well, I I think completing one single scenario is sufficient uh, for a sim rail stream. Uh, so that was IC service one three one nine from Warsaw East to Tunnel. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as you could see, ETCS is now functional and it makes a lot of difference. Uh, I really like to drive with this system. I will be obviously experimenting with other units uh, while this system is on. Uh, we will eventually try Dragon, if I can catch a service around my usual streaming times. Uh, we will obviously come back to ET22. I really like those locomotives. And we will be running some other services in the future, so stay tuned. Uh, obviously, follow, share, like, subscribe, do, do all this, uh, this kind of stuff. Uh, don't forget to join my Discord server. Uh, the links should be below the player. And if you are miraculously watching this on YouTube uh, after it eventually gets released, uh, then, well, you know the drill there. Uh, share, follow, like, subscribe, and check the video description for my social media and Discord links. And, well, uh, maybe try and visit my live stream uh, i stream every morning 9 a.m uk time uh, i think well except saturdays yes uh, I, I don't stream on saturdays uh, recently but uh, any other day you can find me 9 a.m uk time here on twitch see you later and i'll catch you next time bye bye